it's great overall running can improve your overall body composition and your uh, posture for greater performance in the gym bench press deadlift squats all those important exercises where you have to have a stable core and uh, have to brace your core all the time let's go hit some legs looking forward but also dreading this you know how it is nervous before the leg days but let's see how we're gonna be able to push through this leg session how the strength is gonna look and um, how much we're gonna be able to squat back to running and what it does it has such a positive impact for your core as well for all your stabilization and your posture over time because you're using all your um, ab muscles your lower back muscles your obliques are all utilized to stabilize your your core uh, your form while running and can all obviously overall also prevent injuries try to not heel strike tight try to land on your on the front part of your foot on your on the middle part not on your heel just try to get used to that as soon as possible and also you can imagine that like a string is pulling on your head all the time it just makes you run more upright it also forces you to stretch out your chest a bit and just have a proper form and not like sluggish and your shoulders in front and trying to hold on for dear life while running <laughs> workout number one of the day is complete now we gotta get home get fueled up and then in the evening go out for a nice quick run I was just thinking about the running benefits and benefits of endurance work but especially of running on the body and what it has in combination with strength training or the benefits I am experiencing regarding the strength training. 38 minutes, 7 kilometers, 528 pace, average heart rate 143, great run. You know what's interesting is, and I'm pretty sure there's a study, that it takes about one and a half to two months two months probably to recover from a marathon well that's my assumption but i'm pretty sure that's the case if not longer my body is still still calming down my resting heart rate is dropping from week to week the average it's now below 50 yeah i'm just feeling great and better overall also during my workouts my heart rate recovers so quick um i can go into the set into the next set almost instantly so that's quite interesting for me what my body is going through and uh, the adaptation of all this endurance and these runs and going on the bike and you know ju just working on the heart in general but I yeah have difficulties getting that heart rate up during my workouts on leg days uh, training back I have to stay at it non-stop um, my average heart rate during the strength trainings is definitely lower than it was let's say half a year ago and um, I had no problems getting at a heart rate of an average heart rate of 130 and now I really have to push it to shoot that heart rate up there and uh, keep the intensity up but I'm enjoying it it makes the workouts shorter it makes it faster do some supersets get a pump and get out of there that is a just a small little update on basically the adaptation of doing the marathons and all this endurance work let's get this great push session started i'll catch you in there let's go bone density your joints get stronger with time maybe it's a bit controversial but people saying they can't run because of their knees i mean that's just an excuse my opinion um, you just have to get your body used to it obviously you can't go out for a half marathon on your first run but you definitely can start going out walking getting your body used to movement getting those joints especially knees uh, used to some load and some strain and then gradually increase it maybe go for a 10 minute run or run walk interval you know back and forth everyone goes through their own journey and makes their own progress but I'm just highly convinced that it is possible if you also have some history of I don't know having bad joints or arthritis or something like that probably it's not the best you know to listen to me but 
I'm still convinced that it is possible everyone can go out running. The, yeah, that's just my opinion. But I'm enjoying all the benefits and uh, also enjoying this recovery and me getting faster, be able to run at a lower heart rate. Every run I just notice it, I improve on a daily basis. It's just beautiful for me to see. But you know, improvement overall, day-to-day -day improvements are just wonderful. What the fuck? Don't be mistaken by that lighting. That lighting in that locker room is absolutely insane. And then I put on a t-shirt and I look like I don't train. That's the unfortunate effect of being shredded. Do you even lift, bro? <laughs> we have a couple of months left for this marathon prep. We're gonna make the most of it. We're gonna push and let's see if we're gonna make that sub three. It's just way too beautiful not to go out running. If it's nice weather where you're at, go out for a run if you haven't already. Once you get over those first, you know, five, 10 minutes of uh, warming up and getting the run started, it gets just beautiful. <laughs> Let's keep going. Run complete. Quickly stat. 43 minutes, 8 point, almost 2 kilometers, 519 pace, 144 average heart rate. Didn't feel like going out, but the sun gets some vitamin D and the other benefits of running and what it does to the body. It releases endorphins and serotonin, the best two hormones that are responsible for you being happy and managing stress. So that's why it's also great to go run if you feel stressed and if you have problems. So it's literally running away from your problems <laughs> and managing your stress levels. It's a positive addiction and it's great. The run is high or the post run feelings are just great. Great natural, oof, great natural reaction of your body, giving you a cookie as achievement, releasing endorphins, serotonin, making you feel happy throughout the day. If you go running in the morning and you want to be happy throughout the day, happier and feeling more accomplished, go out in the morning. And if you feel stressed out in the evening after a long day, go out for a run and you'll feel way better. You'll be able to sleep better, I don't know, cope better and not overthink it and ruminate in your mind all over the place and get stressed out of, you know, everyday life. So that's another great thing what running does to the body. And believe it or not, we only ate four toasts, peanut butter and banana and the lunch some ground beef with vegetables and that was everything up until now and yeah protein shake so it's about not even like thousand calories and it's 20 to 7 at in the evening so I'm hanging on for dear life in terms of calories and nutrition it's time to go in and prepare a fat nasty juicy skirt bowl with a lot of fruit to replenish those glycogens i hope you were inspired and motivated to get after it yourself and if you did i'm proud of you let's keep moving we move forward you know how we do it like the video if you enjoyed follow along to join the fam because we crush goals <laughs> you know how we do it i'll catch you in the next one love you peace let's go